Authors always want to talk about character development, structure, world building, but you know what we should be talking about? Pacing, because that is the thing that can make or break your book. So let's talk about it. Hey you guys, what's up? If you've never seen me before, my name is Chelsea and I write books about black girls who aren't all that nice. And today you guys on the Fantasy Author Guidance Counselor, we are talking about pacing. There are two points where I feel like a lot of authors could do better with their pacing. And that is beginning of the book, first chapter, and then also at the end of their chapters. So let's start at the beginning, right? I feel like first page, you need to be grabbing your readers. And I've said this before, and I will continue to say it until I am blue in the face. You need to assume that your reader is busy. You need to assume that they do not want to read your book and it is your job as the author to convince them that whatever they are doing is now not as important as sitting down to read your book. That is your job. You have to convince them of that. And you may be listening to this and thinking, Chelsea, how am I supposed to do that? Like if you're busy, what am I supposed to do about it? And that's the thing. Start your book off at a point that is interesting for the reader. That means you are not talking about setting. That means you are not talking about a character's normal day. You are not having them wake up from a really elaborate dream sequence. And you are not dropping them in the middle of a fight without context. Start at the point that is pivotal for your character where there is no turning back. We have a monumental moment in their life that is going to become the turning point and the kickoff point for the entire story. A book that I think does this really well is Bones to the Wind by Tatiana Ob. I have talked about this book before. However, the reason I'm bringing this up is because we have a character, Raja, in a pivotal moment. She is throwing her bones to decide whose team she is going to be on for her coming of age trial. And this is the point of no return for her because there is no going back. She is literally throwing childhood to the wind. I also think that I do this well with We Are the Origin because chapter one opens up with the main character, Brandy. She is leaving the queendom that she has served for her entire life. And in doing so, she has found herself trapped in a cave with a man-eating beast. So we have a character doing something that is pivotal that they cannot come back from and is going to shape the rest of the story. See where I'm going with this? when it comes to ending your chapters, they also need to be really good because I feel like a lot of authors, especially indie authors, kind of treat chapters as like, oh, this is the scene break. This is the end point. This is where I take a breath and let my reader take a breath. And no, 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 no. It should never, ever be easy for your reader to put the book down and walk away. The end of your chapter should leave your reader with anticipation for what's to come next. They should be like, what am I getting into? There should be some question, the character doing something or some big thing that is about to happen. All right, so camera just died, so this is part two. As the author, every chapter should be delivering on some type of promise to your reader while also making a new one. So if in chapter one, you are like, okay, I need to set up this world. Okay, if you were promising magic, deliver on that, but then also offer the promise of there are consequences to the magic. So in chapter two, you start talking about the drawbacks of the magic, but now you've introduced a new character. Now we have tension because whenever there are two characters in a scene, there should be some type of tension going on because they inherently should want different things even if they are on the same side. This builds anticipation and this is what keeps your reader reading all the way to the end of the book. And I personally am of the mindset that you should treat your readers like they are smart enough to read your book. Assume that if you leave the details, they will pick up on it. That you don't have to spell everything out verbatim in your book for your reader to get it and to appreciate it. However, that is completely up to you. Those are just kind of my thoughts when it comes to pacing. Yes, there are other things like structure and when you should introduce things, but at the root of it, right? It's all storytelling. It's all, and then this happened. And the point of it is to keep your reader invested all the way to the end of the book. There's this advice that says, you know, if you're writing a series, right? Your first book sells your second one, right? The same Thing can be true on a smaller scale. Your first chapter keeps your reader invested into the next one, into the next one, into the next one. That being said, let me know what books you guys think have really great openings. And if you have nothing else to say, you can leave an orange heart down in the comments. But yeah, if you haven't already, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video. So until next time, I hope your days are lovely and your books are interesting. Bye, you guys.